But the biggest difference, the single biggest difference between being cheap and being frugal is Hi folks, in this video I want to talk about the differences between being frugal and being cheap and what this means for your lifestyle and your pocket and a few tips and tricks to show you how you can make sure you're getting the best possible value for your money. So hello again folks, welcome back to the channel or if you are new here, you are most welcome. I'm David from PrettyPenny.club. I make content to help you reach your financial goals with videos on investing, passive income, frugal living, generally trying to make your money work harder for you. So please subscribe if that sounds good to you. All right, so straight into it. Recently, I was described by an associate as cheap. All you care about is what something costs. And while that is partially true because I am very focused on how I'm spending my money, I didn't appreciate the inference that I had nothing going on in my life other than to do the bean counting and totaling up numbers on a budget planner, while at the same time trying to hoard away all my resources like Scrooge McDuck. However, when you listen to the words of that sentence, all you care about is money, you're left with the idea that the only thing that matters to me is the financial cost of everything in terms of pounds, dollars, euros, and that it matters above all else. However, I would absolutely refute that claim in the strongest possible terms. In fact, I would almost put myself at the opposite end of the cheapskate spectrum. And that is what we are going to get into today. The costs in terms of pounds and pence, the financial cost is the only thing that cheap people care about. But the value one can get from handing over their hard earned is what frugal people like you and I are all about. I saw an example quoted on a reality TV show called Extreme Cheapskates. And in this one particular episode, a man spends several hours looking for spur change in his own house and round about his local town. By the end of this search, he's come up with something like $7. It took him a couple of hours to come up with this total. And it really begs the question, is your time really worth less than $7 an hour? A cheap person cannot see past the bank balance increasing by $7 and they have no regard whatsoever about the effort on their time or the resources that it took to get that. Never mind that the time is gone and it's the one thing you can't get more of. The bottom line is increased and that is all that matters. They can't see past the opportunity cost of their time and the time lost that they spent looking for that few dollars. A frugal person would never do that. A frugal person is intensely resourceful and seeks value in all aspects of life, not just money. A frugal person will know that there is little point in hunting for spur change for two hours just to marginally improve your financial position. The money actually isn't the issue in all honesty, but rather it's a total waste of time. There isn't a big enough reward for the task. Bear that in mind as we progress through the cheap versus frugal examination and don't forget if you are enjoying and finding value in this video please add some value to my channel and whack that like button free of charge. So going back to the original conversation about me being cheap this came up because usually I bring my own lunch on my travels along with my own drinks and snacks rather than stopping at garages and stocking up on expensive food that you get at service stops. But where do you bother carrying all that stuff around? That's what I get asked. Well, I have already invested in a half decent coffee maker because I like decent coffee. So I make my own with that. I'll make my own sandwiches and meals. I can stick in a container and go because I know what's going into my meals then. And I know I can put together good food for a sensible price. Further, the tap water in our area is good. So why bother buying another plastic bottle of cloud juice at crazy prices? Some of my friends don't mind paying for the convenience of slap together pre-packed sandwich full of ingredients you cannot pronounce, but I do. They would appear to find value in that convenience versus the cost and the taste of the product, but I don't. I'd much rather find value somewhere else. Now don't get me wrong, I enjoy a nice relaxing cup of coffee and a sandwich at a cafe or a restaurant as much as the next guy and that's how I will spend my money in that context. I'd rather pay for a fresh drink and a fresh sandwich in a local cafe and enjoy the atmosphere of the setting rather than force a grotty old pre-pack for the same price down my throat. I'm going to be traveling in the car. I might as well just bring my own stuff and keep going. Save my money and get my value when the driving is done. None of that is being cheap. That's just getting good value as far as I'm concerned. Does any of this strike a chord with you? What do you do that your friends don't? How do you find value where others can't see it? Definitely leave your comments down below. I carry this value based approach pretty much through every aspect of my life. I'm not cheap, far from it. When I spend money, it is generally on expensive stuff. I just don't spend my money on stuff that lots of people do. Take for example, a pint of the black stuff, Guinness, 
probably Ireland's most well-known export and you are certain to pay more than £5 a pint. In Belfast now, it's pricey to say the least, but I might be in cheap by not wanting to pay that price, maybe in some people's eyes, but again, it's just I don't see the value in that as a regular expense. A computer, on the other hand, I will gleefully pay £1,000 plus for a computer when it comes to buying time because I spend so much time on my computer working with videos, code and so on that anything but a really good one would frustrate and annoy me. The time I save by having a powerful computer is worth so much more than the pounds that pay for it. My dad, however, wouldn't get such a benefit of having such a machine. Is he cheap because he won't buy a big beefy computer? Of course not. He wouldn't get the value out of a high-end machine when all he wants to do is get his email, browse the web and watch his favourite YouTube channel. Being cheap very much limits your choices. If hoarding your money and not wanting to part with it under any circumstances is your thing, then you are probably going to live a fairly unfulfilled life. Frugal people are very much the opposite. As I mentioned numerous times, frugal people are very much focused on value. They likely have a budget, framing their choices, prioritizing their spending and making sure they set aside money to enjoy the things they like to do. Hobbies keep us interested in life. They are good for our mental well-being. And after 2020, we know how important that is. And frankly, anything constructive that is to be enjoyed should be embraced. But don't forget, hobbies don't have to be expensive. They can be totally free. Cheap people are likely to be intense savers of their income. And there's nothing wrong with that on the face of it. But this desire to hold what they have rather than using those resources and deploying their money in worthwhile ways is likely the overriding driving force here. But the biggest difference, the single biggest difference between being cheap and being frugal is intention. Cheap people are likely slaves to the bottom line. They will take shortcuts. They buy the least expensive options when it comes to food, tools, maintenance costs, all kinds of items, even to their own detriment down the line and even when they have choices. For example, buying a cheap screwdriver that will shred within a few uses just means buying another a few months again. Or imagine the cheapest possible tomato sauce that might taste awful to them or actually just is pretty awful, but they put up with it anyway. Even if they aren't struggling for money, these would be the choices that define them. They will know the cost of everything and the value of nothing, or at least will ignore the value in the main. Frugal people will spend with intention. They know where they find value. They are organized and focused on goals. They are patient enough to wait for the right product, for the right job. They're avoiding lifestyle creep. They value their time and their money. They're more likely to be investing spur money in some way or giving any extra they have to those who need it most. Frugal people understand how to live within their means in a disciplined way. There is no shame in opting to spend your money differently than the masses. I think lockdown has sharpened the minds of people in many respects with regard to how they have historically spent their money and there does seem to be a bit of a change in attitude around long-term thinking, what things really bring us happiness and what we hope to achieve in terms of finances and happiness in life. I think there's slowly becoming a greater awareness as to how we use all kinds of resources available to us and there is definitely a bit of a shift towards being more careful with those resources. As far as I'm concerned, I don't want to have to work until I'm 70. If I'm really lucky by then, I might have 10 years left and that isn't a lot of time when put in the context of your life. I want to enjoy all that life has to offer. So personally, my intention is not to spend my money on things I don't want, but rather all the time focus on spending on what I enjoy and investing my money into assets that are going to grow over time. Once your money is spent, it's gone. So you can be sure I'm not going to waste it on stuff I don't want to spend it on. I don't care how many times you call me cheap. I have intention for my money to enjoy it and to make sure I'm working towards my future goals. That's good enough for me and I don't really have to justify that to anyone. Be comfortable in your own frugal habits, everyone, and leave a comment to let me know where you find value. If you have enjoyed this video, please leave a like. It will help the channel immensely and please consider subscribing if you like this sort of content. Thanks very much for watching folks and I will see you in the next one. I saw an example quoted on a reality TV show. I saw an example quoted on a reality TV show. That's incredibly hard to say. <laughs> I saw an example quoted on a reality TV show called Extreme Cheapskates.